Strolling the grounds of the Aspen Hill Memorial Park, one is struck by the number of grave sites. There are dogs, cats, birds, and horses buried here. Diane Pierce is the president of the Chesapeake Wildlife Sanctuary, which owns, operates, and is co-located with the cemetery. The cemetery itself dates back to the, the 20s, and it was owned by the Bernie family. They had owned the, the farm and actually a lot of the property that surrounds this area here, right at the corner of Georgia Avenue and Aspen Hill Road. And they had been living here, and then they started burying their own pets in a portion of their little farmette area. Well, their neighbors found out, and their neighbors started asking, can we bury also? And then Mr. Bernie and Mrs. Bernie just decided this would be a good thing to do, and they started the cemetery back in the 20s. And it's grown to just something that's just tremendous. It's actually the second oldest in the entire United States. It has between 40 and 60,000 animals buried here. And the reason there's such a large window there of amounts is that the records that were kept are not really that good. Many of the records are stored in the head of this man. James Thompson has been the caretaker since 1968. A little camera shy, he preferred to lead us to some of the more interesting grave sites. Former FBI Director Herbert Hoover's pets have been laid to rest here. The dog Rags is a war hero. He was able to bring life-saving messages across enemy lines and, as a result, was buried with full military honors. TV dog Jiggs is buried here. He co-starred with Petey on The Little Rascals Show. Local firemen honored their two Dalmatians, Smokey and Sparky, with this hat and hydrant for all their years of dedicated service. But famous or not, each pet is sorely missed. The heartfelt sentiments expressed on the headstones say it all.